simplification of expression using laws of exponent. Simplification means to simplify a given problem. For example, if this is a problem, then we can simplify this using laws of exponent. Now, some of us would try to solve this problem by expanding the numbers like this. But in this method, our steps become more and more complicated. So, we don't prefer to solve it in this way. We use laws of exponent to make our steps simpler. Let us see how we can do this. Change the numbers into exponential form wherever possible. Like 4 can be written as 2 squared and 64 can be written as 2 raised to 6. Arrange the numbers with same basis together. Using the first law of exponents, we know that in case of multiplication, if bases are same, then exponents are added. Therefore, 2 raised to 7 into 2 raised to 2 becomes 2 raised to 9. Again, as per the second law of exponent, we know that in case of division, if bases are same, then exponents can be subtracted. Therefore, 2 raised to 9 by 2 raised to 6 becomes 2 raised to 9 minus 6, that is 2 raised to 3. Similarly, 3 raised to 2 by 3 raised to 1 becomes 3 raised to 1 which is 3. Now we can simply expand the numbers and multiply. Thus, we get 24. Example 2. Determine the value of x in this problem. In this problem, to calculate the value of p, we have to bring the numbers in single exponent. Since the number on the right side is already in single exponent, we just need to make the left number in single exponent. Using the law of exponent, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn. We get 4 by 9 raised to 21, p equal to 4 by 9 raised to 7. Since the bases are same on both sides of equal to sign, so they cancel out and thus 21p is equal to 7. So p is equal to 1 by 3. Expressing large numbers into standard form. In our day-to-day -day life, we hear such statements. The speed of light is this. The distance from the earth to the sun is this. Look at the numbers in these statements. These two are very large numbers. Both these numbers are difficult to read. In such cases, we use exponents to represent these numbers, which are called as standard form. So, how does the standard form of a number look like? A number when represented like this is called as standard number. A standard number has two parts. The first part is a decimal number and is always between 1 and 10. The second part is power of 10. Thus, a number which is expressed as a decimal number between 1 and 10, including 1, multiplied by power of 10, is called a number in the standard form. Let us now see how we express very large numbers into standard form. In this number, there is no decimal point shown. So, 
we put a decimal point at its right end. Now, count the number of digits to the left of decimal point. There are, in all, 12 digits to the left of point. We subtract 12 minus 1, which is 11, and put the point there. Now, since we have moved 11 times to left, therefore, multiply the number by 10 raised to 11. Thus, the standard form of the number will be 1.4 into 10 raised to 11. Remember, the number of moves of the decimal point is equal to the exponent of 10.